Mike, I wonder if that's maybe how you would have liked to have drawn it up, getting a lead, a quality start, and then being able to kind of ride the guys you did at the end, the bullpen. Yeah, it was fantastic. Michael was tremendous. Um, six quality innings. Threw the ball real well. He was able to make big pitches with a little bit of traffic in the sixth to get out of it. Um, the changeup was really good tonight. Controlled counts, got ahead. Um, he was he was fantastic, and then you know the offense set us up for success the rest of the way. You know the three in the first, Manny. You know big game, obviously tied a franchise record with Mr. Colbert, so that's pretty impressive. Congratulations to Manny. Um, and then yeah, we were able to go and Hoeing um, was really sharp tonight. Was able to get his seventh and get that lead out in the in the um, eighth. And Morihone came in, nailed his guys down, and. Estrada brought it home. It was a well-played baseball game again. I know we got the report the x-rays were negative. Do you have any sort of insight on Jackson and what might be going forward? No, I think you know about as much as I do. I talked to him. Um, you know, we're obviously relieved that it's negative. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll take, you know, take it day by day, see what it feels like tomorrow for him. But, you know, clearly a relief that it's, it's negative. I imagine that first inning is an example of aggressive base running that's why you one of the reasons you do it is that things that can happen like that can you just talk about that play from like not only arise deciding but toddy yeah i thought it was aggressive with with intelligence the combinations you know what we're seeking and we get um but i love the aggression but it was just a good baseball play louis um you know sees it takes off and toddy did a nice job because that's a tough one because you got to read the throw so he was in a good position to go, read it, and then turned it on again to be able to force a play at second. So just another good baseball play. What's it say about this bullpen that you do have maybe your three highest leverage arms down tonight and you still have the guys you have, the depth that you have, and able to do what they did tonight? Yeah, it's impressive. Um, you know, we have said it that really good bullpens have guys that bring it home, which we do, um, guys that when we're down, can hold it there and not have to use the same guys. Um, and then the guys that um, typically bring it home, that can be down when you get into stretches where you've got a lot of close games. Um, and they're down, you have other guys that can that can step up and get it done. Sign of a really good team. How would you kind of put into context what Manny has accomplished here? Tying Nate Colbert and what that means. Um, that's, I mean, that's you know, that's a that's a big deal. <laughs> You're talking about a franchise record, man. Those things don't, you know, this is a not a startup franchise. You know, this is franchise. You know, been here a long time, and and um, anytime you set a, a franchise record, you you've done something. It, um, you know, so that's a that's a big accomplishment, for Manny, and and um, you know, we're proud of him and excited for him. Can you put into context what Manny's done this year? Like when Manny got hot, you guys have been pretty darn good yeah. since then. And, and moments like, like that was a big run to get that home run. For That's right. Night. Both the last two were really big runs, right? I mean, they, you know, we get the lead and, and uh, Conforto hits the homer. And so, you know, an hour, um, but boom, the little, the base hit, the good approach. You can see the approach with him that at bat too. And uh, he got rewarded with the ball falling in and then, Got a pitch you can handle and put, you know, that was a big boy homer. Um, you know, the thing about Manny that it's also a part of our team, you know, Manny was Manny was grinding early on. I don't think there's any secret to that. Um, you know, but never made any excuse. was honest about how he felt, you know, took the DH um, early on, came back to, you know, be able to play. And, and, you know, I think we all could tell he was playing with not quite feeling right yet, coming off of surgery. And, um, but good enough to compete and compete he did. And um, so he set a great example for the club to, to be able to, to see what it looks like to, to enter the bell. It's, he's a really good example of that. The other thing is, is, you know, it proved that a lot of other guys can carry the mail early on, you know, with a lot of different contributions that I feel like gave our club a lot of confidence that, you know, he didn't have to be the guy. Now, that being said, Clearly, we're, we're a really good team when Manny and our guys are going. Um, but, you know, he's a, he's a special talent, and it's a, it's a, it's a team that uh, plays well together and, and has a lot of different moving parts that can contribute.
like you want to go deep all the time. So. They were back in, guys were down today. How important was it for you to do what you did today? Yeah, um, definitely something I'm striving for every time. Um, so it's just another day. But uh, I think uh, we got a ton of guys down there that we also trust. So, um, yeah, I would have loved to got nine. But uh, I know that turning it over in the seventh, eighth, and ninth, it was in, in good hands. What's been your impression of what Manny Machado has been doing for this team over the last few weeks? Well, I don't even know what it is. It's been a while. It's, yeah. Um, I mean, he's Manny Machado. So, like, all of it's very much expected, but um, when you actually sit there and look at the statistics that he's put up, but defensively and offensively, it's it's been a joy to, to pitch in front of um, and then and watch him hit. It's a, uh, I mean, he changes games and it's uh, it's showing. You have the home run and then the single. Like, how important is it for you that you managed to bear down and like what what did you do to kind of get through that sixth and make sure you covered that sixth inning given kind of the, the toll on the bullpen there um made a bad pitch to Conforto um actually felt like I executed a pitch to Chapman there um so it really wasn't changing anything it was, it was more just continuing to make pitches um and uh Ruben basically said empty the tank uh when he came out for the for the visit and so I think knowing that it was my last inning uh gave me like some extra energy or whatever I could put out there um, and, and uh, was happy to get through it. What say about this bullpen that like, you have the guys down that you do and it's still as effective and still has as many quality arms as it does? I mean, it's. Uh, I feel like we have multiple strengths on this team, but that's that's definitely a, a, a top one. Um, it is crazy to think about like the depth of our, of our bullpen. Um, and it makes me pitch a lot more free knowing that I can have any of them come behind me, and, I, and they're going to get out of my jam. They're also going to be able to put up zeros for the rest of the game. I know we've had a ton of comeback wins, and obviously everybody looks at the offense for that, but there's just so many times where the bullpens put up zeros to allow us to come back. So it's been uh, it's been uh, a lot of fun watching them work. This team has a knack of bouncing back after a tough loss, like like last night. How important was how important was it for you guys to bounce back today? Yeah, I think putting up three in the first is it is exactly what you're talking about. Um, Makes it easier to pitch, makes it easier to win a game. Um, and coming off a loss, and a tough loss at one, uh, was a lot easier to go back out there with a 3 nothing lead in the second inning.